Hey, good morning, everyone. Dan Monero, welcome to another live color along. And we are here this morning still coloring a page from Color Along Volume 14. So a couple of uh, tech issues are happening in the world this morning. Uh, some with Facebook, some with Zoom. So I want to make sure that we um, have a good audio happening. So can you uh, give me a thumbs up or give me a heart or a like or say yes that you can hear me and that you can see the video okay? Um, but I don't know what is happening in the world, but uh, who, I don't know. Crazy. So let's make sure that everyone can hear what is going on. Alice, can you hear me? It's kind of a crazy question, isn't it? Can you hear me? What a stupid question if you can't hear me. Um... Let me make sure this is switched like this. And I'm live, Jean. As soon as you see the video up and you're able to comment in these comments, I'm live. Oh, good. Angela says she can hear me. Well, that is really the best answer, actually, because Angela is in Australia. And if you can hear me in Australia, then you uh, we're doing good, right? So let's say good morning to everyone before we get, begin. Uh, good morning to Alice and Cheryl and Sharon, maybe, and it's like romper room, isn't it? Angela and Jean and Fran, who's not going to be able to stay because she has to go to work this morning. But thanks for stopping by, Fran. We'll talk to you soon. And Carrie's here with us this morning, and as well as Judy. So my sound is good. So that's why I logged down a little bit earlier this morning because... Um, uh, it just there's just tech issues in the world. I use Zoom this old, this weekend and this morning Zoom is Zoom is down. So I don't know if I've broken Zoom or what the heck is going on, but that is what is going on. Anyway, we are coloring uh, from volume 14. We only have a few weeks left for this book, so and then we we will be moving on to volume 15. And of course, my phone is going to ring because what we're live, right? So we're just going to. Um, Let's just double check Scarlett to see who's calling us. Okay, we don't need to talk to them, Paisley. They're not our friends. This is a new Facebook and it says you are live, but I have no, I don't know what that means, S-O-U-R-C-H. So the new Facebook interface, um, The new Facebook interface is uh, become problematic for a lot of people. No sound. Um, you may need to go over to the video and click hover over at the bottom and um, be able to uh, make the volume go up. So if you hover, if you're on your laptop, are you on your laptop, Jean? That's a stupid question for Jean. Um, There's got to be a way to get that sound to come on. You know, I, I actually have uh, considered uh, sharing my screen for the new Facebook and just kind of like walking people through, giving a tour of the new Facebook. But I'm not, I, don't, I mean, I'm not officially a Facebook representative. So why am I doing that? <laughs> what if I say the wrong thing? So I don't know. I mean, if you have a question about the new Facebook layout, um, I've been using it for um, a little bit now. So I... I actually um, was blessed with the new Facebook. I'm going to say it like that. Uh, I was, um, I had the new Facebook a couple weeks before camp. And it was very, very confusing at first. But it's not that bad now. Okay, so Jean needs to... Okay, so we're in Color Along Volume 14. And we are coloring this page today. We're going to use markers. I have Crayola Super Tips with me. So I have a few announcements too before we uh, actually dive into coloring. And um, we're, going to we're going to create textures with just a black pen. So I've got a black pen with me and I have uh, my Crayola, 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 Crayola Super Tips. And um, I know Sharon's laughing at me right now. It's okay. Uh, Crayola, Crayola Supa Tips, and we're going to be uh, coloring in the spaces and then creating uh, texture with this black pen. So a couple of announcements. My first announcement is uh, Color Along Volume 15 is um, out and on Amazon and it's available as a PDF. And we begin this book on September 21st, which is in a few weeks. And um, I'm really excited about this Color Along Volume because 
as Sharon pointed out, the layout is horizontal, which I do love a horizontal book. And we are going to be doing all different coloring techniques. We've got glowing, we've got um, highlighters and colored pencils, which we, I don't think we did that in the last book. I don't think, we, I think we were going to, and then I didn't have my, um, my highlighters, and I don't really even know. Uh, G needs to refresh. Refresh your screen. Refresh your screen, Jean Mellinger. Some videos have comments on the right side of the page and others are the same. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> Isn't it weird? It's very weird. The other part is that sometimes you can share a video and sometimes you cannot. So since the new Facebook, this is what has happened to me, is that I'm filming with my iPhone, I'm watching this video on my desktop, and that is where I am commenting and I am uh, reading the comments, but then I also have my iPad in front of me and I am about to hook up a laptop. So is my head in a whirl? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, Sharon's excited about it too. I'm excited about it too. So we begin this on September 15th and I say this over and over, but just in case you didn't hear me the first time, what's different about this book is that the pages in this book are only drawn for this book. The pages that are in this book are not found in any other coloring books. So if even if you were to just get this book as a coloring book, you are getting a new coloring book. The other thing that just happened to this book is I have a color chart in this book, um, or color charts. Video and sound, sound is good. Okay, Jean, awesome. The next announcement I want to make, which I have to wait for it to pop on the screen, because we have a huge delay with the new Facebook. Um, so I'll get myself set up here. So that's volume 15. I don't have my camp book yet. It has not been delivered yet. I think it's going to be delivered next week. Um, but camp is October 25th to 31st. And uh, it's too much technology for me too, Sharon. I don't know. It's way too much. I'm really, I'm, I, I just don't know. You have to like put your head down, I guess. You know, remember when we were in kindergarten and they told us to put our head down on the desk? <laughs> remember that? <laughs> put your head down. Everyone should just put their head down for one, for like 10 minutes every day. A couple, about three or four times a day, right? Hey, good morning, Rosie. I didn't catch you there. Hey, Mary. So the other thing that I wanted to uh, talk to you all about is um, I have a fall coloring retreat coming up on September 5th and 6th, which is Labor Day weekend, but where are we going? <laughs> I don't know about you, but we're going nowhere. Um, September 5th and 6th, from it's 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. each day. And it's a new technique that I've never done anywhere else. And I want, we're going to turn these two coloring pages to make them look like a painting with colored pencils um, and watercolor pencils. So you can see on the screen, um, it's a live coloring tutorial each day. It's kind of like, I mean, I don't want to call it camp, but it's like, it's, it's a coloring retreat is what I'm calling it. And I'll be doing more of these. Um, I'll be doing more of the, just don't drink water while you're doing that. You might get electrocuted, Sharon. Um, I'll be doing more of these as we in the in-between months between camps. So I think that would be kind of fun. And we're going to learn how to color coloring page with colored pencils and watercolor pencils using the technique that creates the finished page to look like a painting. They look just like paintings. It's got a fall theme. Um, and you, would, you do not need to know how to paint. You do not need to have ever painted. You don't even know how to need, need to know how to color. It is taught strictly from a beginner level. Um, and once... I see all the people that are in there, and if I have everybody in there, we'll adjust it um, accordingly if it looks like everyone is a little more of an advanced colorist. So, um, which I usually do anyway when it comes to uh, um, camps and color longs. So you'll get a PDF for the class. There's no book available for this. I'm sorry that that's happening, but I don't have a book available for this because it's just a, a three-page PDF. And then you'll need colored pencils, watercolor pencils, a pencil shop, and a paint brushes, blending oil, which could be like um, cooking oil, like canola oil or olive oil, or you could use baby oil or mineral oil, just as long as you don't use motor oil, we're all set. So that is what's happening with uh, the fall coloring retreats, $15.99 a person, and you can sign up on my website. I can, I can pop the link. Um, I should pop the link on here, right? Let me see if we can pop, we can pop the link. Do you ever notice when people do a live video, they always say things like, I'm, not, I'm going to pop on or I'm going to hop on, hop on. When did we start hopping on things and popping into things? What is happening? Let's pop on and hop on. I always wonder about that. Labor Day weekend. That's your uh, wedding anniversary. That's my mom and dad's wedding anniversary too, actually. Labor Day weekend. 
Well, if it was Labor Day weekend. All right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna I'm going to pop the link, as they say. So this is the link to the fall culinary retreat. If anyone's interested in signing up, um, we're we'll, we're going to meet in a private group. Video replays will be available. Um, indefinitely, I know that Angela had mentioned that she wanted to do it, but she couldn't because she didn't have access to a printer. Um, Angela, if you were here in the U.S., I would have I would mail you the piece the page the pages, but because you're in Australia, I don't really think that I'm going to be able to do that. So, um, and Lynn is right; it'll be a fun weekend for those of us not having Labor Day parties because I don't really think anyone's really having Labor. It's not really a, the traditional um, traditional Labor Day as we know it, especially here in New England. Um, it's kind of a big deal, you know, when you're in a, uh, you know, trying to get, um, everyone's thinking about the beach and a lot of beaches are closed or, um, cookouts and, you know, all that stuff. Have I decided on the name of my new coloring book yet? Well, thank you for asking that, uh, Alice. I actually have, uh, two, well, the first coloring book came, is, is out, out as a PDF called Doodle Frenzy. And, um, is that the one you're talking about? Did you see that one? It was submitted to Amazon on Saturday, and they are dragging their feet trying to get it approved. I don't know what is going on, but maybe it'll be live while we're while we're live today. It's still in review. I don't know what the problem is. I guess they're just like sleeping on the job or something. And um, yeah, it's hard to buy a printer right now. Printer, a desk, a few things difficult to buy right now, Angela. I agree with you. Um, so. That's Doodle Frenzy, and that's already out as PDF. It's on my website, but we're waiting for it to hit the Amazon bookshelves. I'm going to start coloring as we, we talk. And um, I have a second book that I'm scanning. I'm still scanning. I think I have a few more pages left to scan. And that one is going to be called Relaxing Frenzy. I was going to call it, you know when you have it, I can't though, because it would never get, um, get approved. They would never let it pass. But I thought it was kind of funny. It was... Um, you know when you see like a like a curse word or swear word or whatever we want to call them, and the um, it's all like symbols like the at symbol. Let me write it down for you. I'll show you what I was going to call it. I was going to call it this. Let me flip this paper over. I was going to call it this. And then what's another one that we could have had? Um, a symbol. Uh, maybe the and symbol. And then it was going to be called Frenzy. So it would be like, you know, PDF is available, yes. The other one, so that, that it's going to be called Relaxing Frenzy. Fren Frenzy, <laughs> not with an L. It will, um, it will have a dog on the cover. I did, I've already done the cover. And I'm scanning the pages and um, it'll get submitted over the next couple of days. Did you think that would be funny, Angela? I think it would be hysterical, but they wouldn't, I know they wouldn't let me do it. I have never um, ever done a swear word book, coloring book, although they're very popular. And I just kind of, you know, made a promise to myself and other people in my life that I would never do that. I don't think that's really has anything to do with any of my coloring books. It's just not my, it just would never fit in. So, but I think that would be kind of funny. <laughs> Australians don't do that so much, we just swear. Y yeah, I guess, right? Um, well, isn't, don't they say that people that, that, the more, the people that swear the most are the happiest or, I don't know, it's like a thing, right? Isn't it a thing about what people swear, the people that swear a lot? Swear like a sailor? I was watching something last night, um, I think it was 60 Minutes actually, and it was an interview with Adam Sandler and his mother was very upset that he swears. I thought it was kind of funny. Why not they have ones that use the F word? Um, because it's not really a word, Sarah. I, it wouldn't go, like this would not, it wouldn't pass because it's not a word. I cannot have any type of symbols um, in my, in the title of a book. I technically don't even think I can have a, um, uh, an explanate explanation, an exclamation point. I feel like one of those people that's going to say supposedly. I 
I was watching this webinar once. This, I, this is a snob thing, but you'll got, you guys will get a little kick out of it. I was watching this webinar one time and I decided that I had to stop and I was never gonna listen to what the person was saying to me anymore because they started saying supposedly and they said ax instead of ask. And at that point I decided that I'm not gonna give this person my money. This is crazy. I mean, it wasn't a, a webinar about like, uh, you know, pronunciation of words, but what do you think about that? I mean, does that bug you? It bugs me. I know there's a few of you that are probably gonna say, oh yes, it does. I could do a PDF with that name. I, I could. I don't like the swear word books either, Judy. They just, they don't fit in, you know? Angela says, I get told by my by US friends that Australians swear a lot. I guess we do. Maybe they do. Keep it clean. Oh, maybe it should be, Barry, you're right. Maybe the title should be Keep It Clean Frenzy. I actually have thought about doing a swear word book that was not in English, though, and doing just, like, a whole book of Italian swear words. That would be funny. But I don't know. Maybe I should put just a, a title of a blank line, and it could just be, like, blank frenzy, and you could just fill it in yourself. So hard to come up with the title of a book, let me tell you. And these two people... Thank you, Sharon. You, yeah, <laughs> Angela. That's, I know, really. Just to, I, sometimes I do that just to bug people too, Angela. But I did just felt like if I was going to pay money, I needed them to actually learn how to speak. You know, like, what am I doing? It was crazy. Sharon says, I also get bugged by people who say Pacific instead of specific. <laughs> Maybe that's what the book should be. Maybe there should be a book of that. All words like that, supposedly, Pacific, ax, all of those words. I'm going to ask you a question because I supposedly want to go to the Pacific Ocean. Um, can't stand when people say ax. I can't either, Lynn. But it bugs me. And the people that whistle as they talk. Whistle? What are you talking about, Rosie? Hey, Trish, soggy morning. I hear you're getting a, a, a bit of a storm. What is going on in the southern part of the United States? for our Floridian friends and our Texan friends. What is happening in New, in New Orleans? What is going on? Crazy. I heard that, is, are they both still hurricanes or has one uh, been downgraded to a tropical depression or something? Yiddish swear words in some cur Aboriginal is that what it is? Aboriginal Australian language swear words? Oh, that would be interesting, Angela. Mary says, I have a problem with people dropping G on OMG words. What do you mean by that? I don't know if I get that. Explain yourself, Mary. I don't know if I understand that. So, um, I'm just going to, so we're going to call these, these like sections here. And this is from uh, one of my books called Square Chains going to put this over here. Now I'm going to take my black pen and I'm just going to put some lines. Now I'm not going to do every single one, but just by putting these lines and whether or not the close, like how, depending on the close proximity of them or um, how close, how far away they are and how it's kind of like a scribble of a line, it will create that texture. And sometimes when you're adding a texture to something, you don't really want to do the whole thing. Because, you know, less is more. It's like eating, I was going to say eating too much whipped cream, but I don't think you can ever eat too much whipped cream. So that's kind of not a very good example. But you kind of want to give it as an accent type thing. That makes sense? Please change the subject. Why am I, what are you talking about? I say sometimes because I have trouble saying specific. Sorry, I can't help it. Oh, ing. Okay, let's see what's happening here with Dawn's comment. New Yorkers right from the city say ax instead of ass. I have a best friend who says that way and say ax. Well, you know, those New Yorkers. Come on. I have to say it like that, right? You know those New Yorkers. I say that with jest. I'm joking when I say that about that. 
You know, you don't want to insult the New Yorkers. That would be scary. No. Uh, doesn't it look cool? Just a little bit of an accent, Angela. That's all. Just a little bit here and there. You don't want to, I mean, you don't really want to, like, make it too, too much. Just a little bit. You know, like a little bit of flavor. It's like you don't want to put too much salt on something or too much garlic in something. That type of thing. So there's my turquoise that I'm adding. And I'm doing these all kind of in different colors, but it seems like yellow always kind of fits wherever we want to put something. Oh, I know, Lynn. Not all New Yorkers. It's okay. Lynn knows I'm joking anyway. Sharon, where's that other question? The language problem because I have speech problems sometimes. It's okay, Sarah. I'm not saying it as an insulting way to you. I'm just, my point was that I had, if you're going to pay for a webinar that was something about a very professional thing, this was not like a, this was like thousands of dollars. You know, that's all. That's all I'm saying, girl. You don't think there's any such thing as too much garlic, Lynn? I think there's no such thing as too much cheese. But did you notice that garlic powder is hard to find? Has anyone else noticed this in the world today? That there's a shortage of garlic powder? And you know what else is a shortage of? Milk bone dog biscuits. I've resorted to having to buy milk bone dog biscuits that they each have the name on. They have different names on them. It's called uh, Bones for Friends. Has anyone seen these? These are... Uh, this box of biscuits, I'll tell you what I do every time I give the dogs biscuits. I read the biscuit and we talk about the name that's on the biscuit. As if they really know what I am talking about. Right? As if they really, really know. They're saying to me, just give me the, just give me the biscuit. What, why are you reading that name? But we do talk about the different names on them. So I think it's kind of funny. I sent, um, I sent a friend a biscuit because it had the name of her dog on it. Now... Milk bone dog biscuits or any straw bought biscuit to me, I'm sorry, but they look pretty uniform, right? So I sent her some stuff and inside the box, I put two biscuits with her dog's name on it. Thinking it would be kind of funny. She sends me a message back and she said she only ate one biscuit. And uh, by the way, did you make these? Oh yeah, I have like professional equipment in my kitchen and I'm making dog, bis dog biscuits that look that uniform. You know, did I make them? It is crazy. All right, my apologies to anyone that I insulted about my comment about the words. I won't talk about it anymore. Let's pretend it didn't happen and go back to coloring. Okay? No hard feelings, I hope. So I'm adding blue to this. And then um, I just think these little things, which I call them square chains because they look like chains to me and they're square, um, are always kind of fun just to kind of add maybe... Uh, maybe two colors or three colors, or you can just kind of play around with um, some sort of color family. This is kind of a, a cool book to, and the whole book is like this, all different layouts like this. But this is also a cool book to um, actually maybe play around with uh, different colors and see how they match together, almost using it like, like, like a color chart in a way. I'm gonna go with some brown. Some brown, brown, brown. I don't think brown gets used enough sometimes, in my colorings anyway. Brown and pink always look nice together. Brown and blue always look nice together. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Dawn. Dawn, did you see that Zoom is down? Lynn, did you see it? Did I break it? I don't know. I tested Zoom over the weekend, um, and I don't usually use Zoom, and um, now it's broken. I don't know what happened. They're having a world, an outage. Maybe it's from the hurricane. Could be. Having an outage on the, um, I think on the East Coast. All right, what other color do we need in here? I'm thinking some light green. Just to kind of pop in a little bit of light green here. I 
think my dogs wore themselves out. They were really a little nuts before we started. And um, now they're fast asleep. I guess I'll put some blue back over here. Yeah, this morning. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, I went to log in because I wanted to uh, figure out how to save the video. And it's had this weird error message that said something like, um, uh, cannot log in for Zora. And I'm thinking to myself, Zora? Oh, no, it said Zola or something. And I'm thinking, are we on Will and Grace with Zola? Isn't that her name? Zola, the maid, Karen's maid. Now those I put together, I didn't know if I really wanted to do that, but I did kind of put them next to each other. It was a weird message, Dorn. So I, of course, Googled it. And according to Twitter, there's a problem. It could be that, Alice. Maybe too many people are using it. But I'll tell you one thing. Last night I was having, or yesterday morning I was testing it out with somebody and, um, we were having, I was having a lot of problems on my end of it. And I finally said to myself, this is why this world is going mad. I mean, you gotta, you, they must really be like scrambling in the Zoom world, you know? Imagine having a product that uh, all of a sudden, like practically overnight, you just increased usage and most of it is free how about that so i think i'll put some pink in this one and you could leave some of these white that would look pretty cool if it had some maybe i'll leave some white in this one and have it be, um, have it just be some lines in those white ones. So let's see, I'm gonna make this one three colors. We'll go with gray, pink, white, and I'm going to add some more gray right here. Try not to put anything close to each other. So this is when we come into a problem. I'm hoping this is my only problem for the whole day is having to figure out where I'm going to put my gray. Wouldn't that be great? Can I zoom in on the square with the line? I can zoom in on the whole page a little bit. How's that? We're talking about zoom and now we're zooming in. There we go, I think that's better. Maybe I need another color. I think I do. I think I need a, a, I think we should go with blue. True, very true. Good point, Dawn. Most people are working to, to um, working from home. Yeah, I've used, I'm not really a Zoom user, Alice. I just, I've used it in the past, but Trying to use it for a few other things. Um, but I really need to make sure that I get, I mean, I have to use like, I think I was using three devices while I was using it, while I was testing it. So I have to use like three. It's crazy how many. Or something, I decided to leave all of those white. I've got to remind myself of what my decision was. Good thing this isn't like a major decision in life here. Then I would have, then I would forget it. Now I'm gonna add some texture to these, to the whites. And this pen I chose specifically because it's not complete, this would not be my choice of a pen to draw with because it's kind of on its way out. But I do like that the lines that it's making are not completely black. They're kind of scratchy looking. All right, so now we've got this last one and I'm gonna, I've gotta go with this pink, this magenta color. 
we have time today, I'd like to get uh, that itsy bitsy page finished that's in this book that we have not done yet. Maybe even if we just got half of it finished today and then we can get the other half finished next week. But this way we can get it finished before this book is over. Too many changes in life lately, don't you think? Okay, I really like this color right here. It kind of speaks to me. You said you were trying not to put them too close together. I'm social distancing. I guess I am, right? What do you think about people that are doing coloring books that are titling them like... Uh, quarantine coloring or things like that. I've decided that I am not going to have anything that has the name on it of what we're going through. I don't really, I feel like I just want to forget about it in my, in this, you know, anybody else want to just forget? <clears throat> I think that Zoom is actually easier than you think, but, um, if you don't turn off a microphone in a certain way that you can get a lot of feedback and did you ever see that i saw this cartoon the other day that um some little kid was uh she went to the bathroom went into the bathroom mom was in the bathroom she, the mother was standing there naked in front of a mirror and um the little kid said had the camera in front of her and she said uh mom can you tell me how to get how to stop the video on my for my classroom uh, Zoom video, and she's the what? There's the mother on camera. That would be crazy. I've had some, I've had some weird things happen to me uh, using Zoom. Kind of, you got to really kind of pay attention to what's going on. All right, what other color do we need in here? Maybe we just leave some of these white. We can socially distance them. Um, I'll get this color again and pop some over here. This kind of orangey yellow color. Angela says, I've only seen one. It seems a bit like pro profiteering to me. It does, to me too. And sometimes when they get, um, when you put that name on something on Amazon, um, they'll take it down. You're not supposed to have anything in the title of a book that has to do with that. Um, just like Amazon, uh, if you see t-shirts, a lot of people get their t-shirts taken down because of things like that. So... I don't like to uh, profit on a crisis, you know? It doesn't make sense. It's like when someone dies, like a famous person or something, you know? You don't really want to do that. Sharon says, yes, I do. It's overwhelming to me now. Too much. I want to shut it all out. Me too, Sharon. We had Easter with family and aunt and uncle. Lynn is laughing. I'm not sure what we're laughing at anymore because I have Facebook brain ha happening right now, right? Facebook live brain. I hope one day we can see, we can say, Mary is saying, what was the name of that weird virus in 2020? I know, me too. Y you got to admit though, don't you think it is interesting that we're living through it? Not that you want to say, wow, this is great. But I got to say, there is a lot of positive to it because there could be, I mean, any type of experience. It's a huge, um, it's a big thing in history. And I think that it's taught a lot of people a lot of things about themselves, about other people, about a lot of people have changed themselves, changed their lives. I don't know. Maybe we should start focusing on what positives have come out of it. Can you think of anything positive that's come out of it? That's a good idea, Alice, saying let's not dwell on what we have to go through. I have seen altered, I have even altered what I watch on TV. Oh, I completely alter what I watch on TV. Completely. Okay, now we've got this background area here, and I do really feel like I need to color it. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to use gray for this section here. Oh, you had Zoom on East. Uh, you had Zoom on East. You had Easter on Zoom. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I think that you have to kind of think of the positives. I mean, a lot of people are saying one of the positive things is they get to spend more time with family. I think one of the positive things is that we're not running around like chickens with our heads chopped off anymore, like we thought we had to. 
Remember when that happened? And isn't it me? I think that you have more time to do other things because things like, uh, I mean, you can have so much stuff delivered right now. So that kind of cuts out the time spent in a store, right? You're right, Lynn. Completely. I totally agree with you. We are doing well. Can you imagine how things were in 1917 or even in 1950? Imagine. Yeah, exactly. The last pandemic. But imagine if this happened before technology was available and before we had a way to connect with people uh, over the Internet. Imagine what that would have been like. Now, that would have been bizarre. People would have really felt extremely isolated. They must have felt really isolated then. I mean, maybe they felt isolated to begin with, but I remember on Downton Abbey, it was the, uh, they, the, that, there was an episode or part of that series was about uh, the pandemic that they had gone through. And um, some of the characters on that show had the pandemic, had, had the pandemic, had the flu. I have family members that, that died of it. So imagine what that was like. Or if you have to communicate with someone and you had to write a letter. I don't know. It's just, I think that things are actually better than we think. A lot of things I just don't miss. These Crayola Super Tips, I think I saw them on sale at uh, Walgreens, Crayola Products. I think it was Walgreens this week. Cheap, cheap this week, I think. Really cheap. Don't ask me what the price is because I really don't know, but I know that they were cheap. I know Dollar General had some good prices on them too. Angela. Angela says, I'm now on a first name basis with my Amazon delivery guy. I bought him chocolates. Um, I always have a different Amazon delivery guy, so I'm not on a first name basis with him, but I am on a complete first name basis with the mailman. As a matter of fact, um, the mailman, uh, the other day, a politician uh, was knocking on my door and I was outside talking to her. And um, here comes the mailman and he looked over at me and uh, we said hello to each other and uh, addressed each other by our first names and um after he left the girl the woman looked at me and said do you know him i said yeah he's my mailman <laughs> she's like i feel like i'm in mr rogers neighborhood i'm like i'm telling you i was putting out like um a box of snacks and cold drinks for the delivery guys but or people delivery people excuse me but nobody wanted it so i stopped i mean how many times can i leave that stuff outside and nobody wanted my snacks. What the heck, right? I think I'll pop in some orange. Was it hard for you to, stay, to not to see people? Yeah, I mean, I'm a com I am an introvert. I would rather just, I can find a lot of things to do. I mean, I, I do get a little like cabin feverish if I'm not, if I stay in too long, but um, I, I think I could busy myself with things to do for a good solid month if I couldn't go anywhere. I mean, I just have like this pile of things that I could be doing. I don't know. Lynn is saying, Walgreens is good. I bought a couple of pencil boxes and will return for more. They were $2.99 and had a sort of colors. Yeah, they have some really good deals right now on um, the school supply section. And what did I buy there the other day? Oh, I bought a, um, I think it's a lunchbox. I'm not even sure. Maybe it's a pencil case. It was in the clearance section. It was only $1.69. I'm not even sure what it is. I just bought it because it was $1.69. It could have been anything. No, really, I just, that's why I bought it because it was on sale. But I did use it for something. I put some stuff in it. It would, would make a good, um, actually, it would be good for uh, putting different, uh, a mask in so that you can pop it in your bag. Yeah, Angela, I just, I put the, bo the box out and 
I thought that everyone would be excited about it. I had chips and granola bars and water and juice and Doritos. Who wants, who doesn't want a Dorito? And nobody wanted my stuff. So um, after a while, I was like, well, this is coming back in. I mean, even the mailman, he saw it. He's like, this is so nice. And then he took something and I said, you can take another one. You can take a snack too. And he said, no, 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 I'll leave it for the rest of the people. So he didn't want to impose on me, I guess. Um, he didn't really want to uh, want to do that. That was kind of nice of him though, right? Just to kind of say, pencil boxes for a dollar at Michael's. Oh, what a deal. Okay, so this page is complete. I did the background like that. Um, I don't even have a copy of this book. I actually have to go through my books and see what I have, what I need to order copies of uh, for all my books and update my PDF list of uh, books and uh, put it on the group. All right, so let's go back to Itsy Bitsy page, which is the little flowers, if I can find it. Jean, I know you were asking about this. I don't know what happened to this. Did we do this page? I thought we did. It might have snuck under the radar, I'm not sure. Here it is. This is the Itsy Bitsy book page, book page, the page from Itsy Bitsy. And um, this is a fun little book. This book has all, it's a variety book and um, it just really has all, did you know, Itsy Bitsy pages, like Itsy Bitsy versions of pages. There's um, some pages in it that have pages from a bug's view and it's in smaller version or there's some smaller mandalas. There's some bookmarks in this pa in this book. Um, this is a fun book, Itsy Bitsy. I think the name was fun. I feel like I'm running out of book names because after I'm done with, um, we didn't do that page, I guess not. Um, after I, um, I'm done with this, the next Frenzy book, Relaxing Frenzy. I actually am not. I don't have a book lined up. I can't even believe it. So I'm not sure what book I'm going to be working on after that. Maybe Christmas. I'm not sure. I haven't done a Christmas book in a while. So uh, maybe I'll start working on a Christmas book. I usually don't get too involved with... Uh, working on a Halloween book because for some reason it's a short-lived holiday I don't know and I don't want to draw anything too scary because I don't want to make myself afraid hey Mary we'll talk to you soon Alice is saying look at the times we are living in but people might be thinking is she trying to poison me what would she be up to true I did think of that Alice I don't think I would take um I don't think I would take a snack from someone like that. Well, it's like people eating out in restaurants. You know, unless you're in a trusted restaurant. I mean, it's a restaurant you go to all the time. I don't know. I'm very skeptical about eating out in a restaurant anyway. You don't know what's going to happen. Back in the day, people would really have appreciated your kindness and would have taken your food. I know. I've always wanted to start like a blessings box. You know, people have like a little free library. I've always wanted to put a, like a um, like a little free library, but have stuff in it. Like, um, you know, soap and maybe some canned goods. And I don't know why soap comes to mind, but maybe uh, toothpaste or like some personal goods. A little blessings box. I think that would be fun. But then I'm afraid that people might vandalize it. Do you think that that makes me um, skeptical or do you think that makes me realistic? I don't know. What do you think about it? Do you think that that would be something that would that you would be worried about? I live um, in an area where there could be people walking by that might benefit from something like that.
thought I just heard a phone ringing. Maybe not. So I'm just going with all these flowers just being all different, you know, all different colors. I guess I did these two the same. I didn't mean to. I'm doing the same color flowers in each flower pot. So if you would like to share this color along out onto your Facebook page or onto a coloring group, that would be grand. If anyone would like to do that. I'm going to pop a pop a, sh a share onto something. Um, I guess I'm gonna go back to using maybe some lavender. Hmm. I guess I'll use lavender for this one. I'm not really crazy about this lavender color. It just looks kind of like, it looks like it could be better than it is. I'm being critical of the color. Wow, I just got booted out and took forever to get back in. What is going on today with technology? I know, Sharon, I agree with you. Sometimes there's days like that. And you know how I can also tell that there's a problem today? Because we only have 16 people watching right now, according to the little number in the upper left-hand corner, and that is low. So usually, there's, that's usually like in the, um, I guess, that's probably, that is usually, should we do a blue one? I guess a blue one. Um, that's usually in the, in the 20s. You know? So you think it's being realistic, Alice? I do too. You know? You don't want to make someone sick. Plus, you have to watch out. Like, we, I guess we do live in a time where someone might take something and say, oh, I got really sick from those chips that I ate on that front porch and it'll come back. I don't know. So there's my blue. I'll put some pink here. Pink, 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 pink. All right, I gotta see what else is happening with this. I have to refresh something here, hang on a second. with some orange I guess we'll go with some yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. This is more of a yellow than orange though. This reminds me of like a color in a color pencil that I would always kind of like, uh, gravitate to. I wish this was not as orange. I wish it was yellower or a yellower color than this. 
I'm being very critical of these pens today, of these markers today. I guess I'm going to add some pink to the bottom. Make the bottom pink. Did you guys see that Melody Jones, I don't know if Melody's watching today or not, but she just started a new Facebook group that is all about coloring and diamond painting. And she also has a YouTube channel now and she's been doing some uh, live videos and she's been doing some record pre-recorded videos of um, doing some diamond paintings. She's going to actually be coloring from some of my coloring books. And she is also doing, um, she did an unboxing yesterday of, um, of a diamond painting set. So if you are a diamond painter, uh, you should check that out because it's very, very cool. I was watching it yesterday. They're not too long. Yesterday was like maybe, um, I want to say it was either nine minutes or 19 minutes. Wasn't sure. I think I'm just going to kind of do maybe every other with this brown color. I expected this to be red. I guess it's like a brick. Kind of velvety looking, isn't it? I think it looks like velvet. Can we still hear the comments? Sharon, can you still hear? Are you still, did you get booted off again? So weird because all of the people are leaving. There's like less and less, less people. Less and less, less. Something's going on with technology today, that's for sure. Something's popping up. The name of Melody's group. It's a good question, Alice. It's a very long name. Um... I think if you might go to her, if you go to her Facebook page, you might be able to see it. I did send her a message um, to put the link to the group in uh, the Just Call It Column group. So hopefully she'll do that. And um, if you go to her YouTube channel, her YouTube channel is called Melody Loves Her Hobbies. And loves is spelled L-U-B. Um... But Melody is always fun to talk to anyway, so she it's not an annoy. <laughs> I'm going to say something that's really mean, but no. Sometimes I watch people um, people's live videos, and I just can't get past the voice that I'm hearing. So I just can't. Don't, don't you think that really happens a lot? Hey, Sandra. Hey, Jean. Jean, did you get terrible weather yesterday? It was like a, a crazy storm moving across. I thought it was in your area too, but... All right, so we've got this brick red co color, which I'm thinking of that song, Brick House. Anybody else thinking of that? China says, I joined her group, but I never see posts of her videos. She doesn't put the post of the video in her um, group. Well, it's a YouTube channel, so she would have to put a YouTube link. So you'd have to watch it on YouTube. But if you go to YouTube, you can subscribe to her channel, which is Melody Loves Her Hobbies. I think the group name, the group name is totally different than her YouTube channel. She started it with somebody else, another person too. And it's all things including um, diamond painting, coloring, any type of hobby. I mean, she did an announcement the other day and it also mentioned things like woodworking and I think she even, meant, even said cooking. I mean, I'm not really sure. She did say that she's going to uh, color from some of my books. I actually need to get in touch with her because I want to send her something that she can uh, color in one of her videos. I can't believe how hot it is here today. It is like 90 degrees. I like the voice of the lady in all in the all in the family of uh, Fran Drescher. What's um Edith? Are you talking about Edith? Or is it the same person that, in both? How could it be? It's not, right? Hey Cheryl. Sometimes I can see when people join and sometimes I can't. So if I'm uh, not acknowledging you. I apologize. We had some rain, but Lancaster really got hit two to three inches of rain. Oh, yeah, I did. I That's the storm I was talking about. And um, my friend lives like 20 miles north of me, and she sends me this message 
that said, are you getting a really bad thunderstorm right now? Um, <laughs> this was this is pure laziness on my part. I do, she said, are you getting a really bad, bad thunderstorm right now? And I said, I don't really know. She said, well, she said, it's really bad right here. The sky is dark. The lights are flickering. And I said, well, I'm not really sure. Let me go look. So instead of getting up and going outside and looking, or even going to the window and looking, <laughs> I picked up my phone that was in front of me, and I looked at the weather channel to see what the weather was, and I clicked on the radar, and sure enough, there it was that we had a really bad thunderstorm warning. Now, let me tell you how I should have got, just gotten up because I, at that point, said, oh, no, we're getting a really bad storm. So I shut off my computer, and then I waited a little while, and then I got up, and I walked by the window, and it was sunny. And I'm thinking to myself, I just completely relied on the weather channel to tell me the weather on the weather outside my window. What is happening to me? I completely have reached the epitome of laziness. So I just, um, about an hour later, I said, I may as well just turn this computer back on, turned it back on. Edith and Fran have annoying voices, but I thought you liked them. Do you like those voices, Sarah? I'm putting gray here for the dirt. Because in my world, the dirt is gray. You know, the world where I look at the weather, instead of looking out my window, I'm looking at an app on my phone. It could have just been lying to me, right? Could have been completely lying to me. But that's what I relied on. Okay, we've got to put some middles. So I'm going to go with some, my friend, Orange. I don't even think it's making a difference on this, but that's okay. Because it's all about having fun. Coloring to have fun. And I guess I'm going to add some turquoise to some of these because it doesn't always have to be like an, an orangey or yellow colored middle. And that one's done. So this is the page from Itsy Bitsy. So let's see what else we, let's take a look at this book so far, see what we have left because we don't have much left in this book and then we'll be working on Color Along Volume 15. So let's see, we finished that one. We had done this one uh, a couple of weeks ago, last week. And the next week we'll be working on this one, which is Chalk Pastels. This is a grayscale style coloring page. And then we'll be working on this one with woodless colored pencils. I have a couple of different brands of woodless colored pencils that I'll be using, or we could take a look at. And here is one from Mighty Mandalas. Um, and this is the last page that we'll be working on for this book. Then we'll be moving on on September 21st to um, volume 15. So I wanted to uh, let everyone know that this book is on Amazon, volume 15. It begins on September 21st. And before we leave, I do want to mention one last time about the fall coloring retreat, which is coming up on September 5th and 6th. It's Labor Day weekend. Um, and we'll be coloring, uh, a couple of pages during that little fall retreat. We meet an hour each day for a live video and we will be coloring, um, in a painting te technique. We'll be coloring with colored pencils and a blending oil. Um, and then on the next day we'll be coloring with, um, watercolor pencils and we'll be creating a finished product that will look like we painted it rather than colored it. Um, but really you do not have to have any painting experience um it's be taught at a beginner level you don't even have to know how to color if you want them to take this class and it's 15.99 per person you can sign up on my website there is not a book for this you just get a pdf and the only other additional supplies you will need would be um any brand of colored pencils and a pencil sharpener, any brand of watercolor pencil, watercolor pencils, paint brushes, some blending oil like cooking oil, or baby oil, or mineral oil, um, just as long as you don't use motor oil, and some water, paper towels to wipe your brushes, etc., etc. Et so, hopefully, you can join me for that. If you're interested, just let me know. Um, there's a link that I popped here. I'll pop another link here again to this. Let's see if I can pop it. Yeah. I'm gonna pop it on there because we're all, we're all about popping. And um, that's happening on Labor Day weekend because where are, the, where are we going on Labor Day weekend, you know? Life is so different than it used to be. Cookouts and get togethers and, you know, all that brouhaha, as they say. 
Let me just refresh this. To this. Okay, so let me just get this shared out onto one page here that I wasn't able to do to before. And thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope everyone has a great day. And I will see the Draw Along group on Wednesday. We meet again this Wednesday for the Draw Along group. We're drawing the, um, the lantern with graphite. That's going to be a lot of fun. So I will see everyone soon. Have a great day, everyone.